Okay, hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today I thought I would play uh, some PC randoms, or PC Steam randoms, mainly because I haven't done PC games in a hell of a long time. You know, a good couple of months. <clears throat> You know, maybe even half a year, I don't know. So I thought I would I would take the opportunity to have a look at some games that I'm interested in having a look at. Not necessarily kind of like silly ones or anything like that, just ones that I had on my wish list that I was interested in. Starting off with Valky64. Now, you may be thinking, well, why was this on your wish list then? Well, you, if you don't know, I'm quite a big fan of Siactro. Like uh, his games, I played through. Oh, yeah, I played. Yeah, technically, I think I have actually played through every single one of his games. Maybe not, obviously. Maybe yeah, but maybe like a couple of the Tory like spin-off ones, but all of the main games I've done a full playthrough of. You know, yeah, McBat sixty four and Tory one and two, Beanie Super Kiwi sixty four. So yeah quite enjoy his games and one of the games I keep seeing pop up um, was Valky 64 which looked very similar to like I guess Ocarina of Time style graphics and like era which if you go on the Steam page it does actually say that it says Valky 64 is an action adventure inspired by action adventure games from the Nintendo 64 era so there you go the game came out in on the 25th of November 2022, so still fairly new, and it's developed and published by Malte Gallade. Uh, Malte Gallade, yeah, so Malte Gallade. Um, sorry if I butcher in your name there, I do apologize. So yeah, so obviously being a, as I was a fan of games like Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, back in the day, I'm hoping that I will enjoy this game. But we'll see. I'm not exactly planning what to do exactly with this game yet. Basically, this first video is going to be me just... Uh, this might be the only video. We're going to play it, see how I get on, see if if it's my kind of thing. Um, I've purchased the game a while back. It was quite cheap, in all fairness. So I've gone past the, the refund period. So I've got no plans to refund this, even if I don't like it. Because uh, I, I bet it was quite cheap. I bought it on sale for quite cheap during the uh, Steam Spring Sale, I think, so... So yeah, so there's no, you know, no worries there. I'm um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention before we start. Um, I'm recording this with Shadowplay for the first time, um, instead of OBS. I'm gonna try and start recording more games with Shadowplay, uh, specifically PC games. Uh, mainly because of like a... Uh, I think the bitrate and the frame rate's not great for OBS, but if I put it on any higher, it just lags the absolute crap out of the recording, so... Yeah, anyway, enough uh, nonsense, enough talking, let's jump into Valky64 and see how we do. I'm not saying necessarily I'm going to do a full playthrough of the game, but we'll just see how it goes. Long ago, in the realm of Selsa, the goddess of order and the goddess of chaos ruled together. But one day, the goddess of chaos yearned to take over in the reign and rule on her own. She tried to defeat the goddess of order. The army of chaos, the reptids, and the army of order, the guardians, fought a gruesome battle. In the end, the army in order, the army of order won. Okay. But the cost for victory was high, and only one guardian survived the battle. That guardian is you, Valky. It is time for you to rise again. The goddess of chaos returned and tries to rule over all of Cel Celsia. Rise, Valky. Rise, the last guardian of our realm. Salsa. I think it's Salsa. I want to say Salsa. Like like, <laughs> like what you dip in, like, uh, potato chips in. Like, or, like, Doritos. Okay, okay, so visually speaking, the game looks very, very nice. Um, I'm th oh, that's a very, uh, I can tell the, uh, inspired... I guess we'll save, sure. Okay, so yeah, okay, game save. There we go. I'm actually going to go on to here. Okay, camera normal, rumble, V-Sync. Okay, so I was going to turn the game volume down a little bit. But in all fairness, it doesn't sound particularly loud, and it's quite mellow, so I just don't want it to overtake me voice. So we have the ability to jump. I do like the uh, the art style. The graphics look very nice. 
Um, it does look of the error a little bit sharper than probably the error exactly, but that's perfectly fine. You know, I don't get the whole like idea of making the game look exactly like an N64 game or PS1 game. I just don't get that. If you're going to do that, uh, you know, port it on, like, go through the extra steps and port it onto the PS1, which obviously is a massive, massive, like, thing in the beginning. With it. Like I said, it's on PC. As long as it looks PS1-esque, it doesn't need to look and replicate the complete look of a PS1 game. So, at least that's my two cents. But yeah, so... The graphics look very, very nice. Oh, we can actually look at this. What's this? Minutes played. Total jumps four. Oh, okay, so it like logs everything. Fair enough. So what have we got exactly? So we can take our sword out using Y. By the way, it it picked up my 8-bit Do um, Pro 2 controller instantly, which is good. Okay, so it seems like you have a you have a sweeping attack that goes up, an attack that goes down. So it's cool, and then you can sheaf it. Okay, you can press the L one button, or I guess the L button, to just snap round. Oh, it uses the L two uses the same. I always use PS one. I always use PlayStation controls terminology. I don't know why. It's just even though I I haven't used a PS a PlayStation controller in years, I did at one point try to use. Um, a PS3 controller and PS4 controller, I think, on PC, and it was just really weird. Just it just had connectivity issues, so I just gave up. Valky, you have finally risen. I called upon you because I sensed the return of the goddess of chaos. It seems she regained her powers with the chaos gem. She has amassed a new army of reptids. Although the army is still small compared to her army of old, they already wreak havoc across the four realms. Okay. Visit each of the four realms of Celsius that are connected to this temple. You will find holy gems there. With these, I can create a portal to the chaos fortress in which she resides. I open the portals to all four realms for you. The order you collect the holy gems is up to you. Valky, but some realms are more dangerous than others. I will suggest you go to the realm of Kizen first, which the forest temple is located. Okay, I'll take your recommendation on that. Talk to me any time you need advice for your adventure. I believe in you, Valky. Okay, fair enough. So we can tackle the four gems in any order. I like that. Basically allowing you to play the game. I guess that determines like the difficulty, I guess, really. What, what order you decide to play these in, so... So let's see, what what do we have? We have like a... We have a... Realm of Snow. Realm of... What is that? I guess fire or... Yeah, like lava and volcano. And a realm of desert and obviously forest. So we're going to go to the forest realm first. Because she advised that. And obviously I suck at video games, so... Yeah. But like I said um, at the beginning of the video, I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough of this. We'll just see how we... How, we just see how we do basically. Oh, okay. I'm getting very interesting. Interesting palette choice. I'm getting very Hyrule Field feelings from this. Very, it is, you can definitely tell it is definitely inspired by Ocarina of Time. 100%. I'm just looking in the water, see if there is anything. Can I swim? Uh, considering there's a ladder here, I'm going to say that's a yes. So, the music is a little bit, it's okay, it's just a bit, just sounds like royalty free music. One of the things that kind of ties me to Siactro's games is that the dude knows who to call for music for his games. He definitely knows. He definitely, definitely knows who to call for that. Whereas this just sounds like the kind of music I'd hear in like a YouTube tutorial video on a really big channel. You know, like the happy kind of positive music. Yeah. This is 100% Hyrule Field looking. Look at it. Very, very inspired by that, isn't it? Alright. 
to Kizen Training Dojo from Combat Basics to Master Techniques. Okay, so yeah, there's a training dojo. That's fair enough. Let's give the training dojo a go. I see a chest, so we'll go do the chest first over here. I saw you. What we got? Ooh, a heart piece. Wow, okay, we even have heart pieces in this game. Okay. So, that's interesting. Just seeing if there's anything else kind of hidden around in the water or anything. I don't think so. Let's go see what's on the other side of this building. Some pots. Interesting. Beautiful! Oh, we have rubies as well. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Quite, quite inspired then, really. That's interesting. Quite inspired. Okay, here we are in the training dojo. Hello, my dude. Well... Welcome to our dojo. You can read our combat text for free, but for advanced combat techniques, you have to get a dojo pass from the village elder. Okay, so I guess it assumes that we are going to return here at some point, which is fine. I'm guessing these are the advanced techniques here. So I guess, do we start here? This is the blue, this is the only pedestal that's blue, so I guess we start here. Keyboard controls. There's a parry? Okay. I'm not using keyboard controls, but okay. Combat tip. Horizontal attacks have less combo potential than vertical attacks, but hit more enemies more easily. So... Okay, so those hit more enemies. Well, that one has less... He kind of... It's kind of a basic combo, but yeah. You cannot manually jump when your weapon is drawn. If you focus with either, if you focus with a draw, if you focus with a drawn weapon, don't know why I said either. I think I saw, so I saw the either left below it. You will do an evade. Uh, either left or right. So, so this is an evade, I guess. Yeah, dodge. Oh, that's that's that. So that's the parry. You have to lock lock onto the enemy parry. Okay. Okay. Fair. We've done that one, haven't we? Yes. You can attack while jumping. Either auto jump from an edge and attack with both attack buttons or draw the weapon mid -air. Okay. Cool. You are slower when your weapon is drawn. The auto jumps won't reach as far as well compared to when your weapon is sheathed. Okay, so you, you... Okay, that makes sense. It's fair. Combo attacks do more damage than just single ones. Each attack from the same type Either horizontal or vertical increases the next attack. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it encourages you to not mix up the buttons. So it's so obviously so this is up, isn't it? You see this, and that's down, horizontal and vertical. So it's in, it's telling you to you got a free hit combo there with the Y button. With the, I guess, what's that? Horizontal or vertical? I don't know. But you only got a two hit combo with the other one. You can do. Okay, you can do one, two, one, boom. So you can do a four hit combo by doing two Y and two X. Okay. It's very. The moves are quite simple. Well, I'm just saying the, the, the combat. From what I've seen just from the attacks, it's quite simple, but it seems like the developer's trying to put there's a lot more you can do with it. But I don't think it the combat's complex enough for that. At least that's my stance at the moment. We'll see if that changes. You can chain horizontal and vertical attacks, but it will reset the combo damage multiplier. So a horizontal vertical horizontal combo will only deal as much damage if they were the first attack. Okay, so it's actually telling you to not do the four-hit combo. Don't mix... It really is emphasizing, do not mix buttons. Don't mix the buttons. Do less damage. When you press jump while your weapon is sheathed, you will jump higher than when doing an auto jump. You say that, but yeah, I can't seem to jump. I'm, I don't... I'm trying to jump. Well, that makes me laugh. You say, oh yeah, you can jump, but it doesn't seem like case. Okay, yeah, we can't read these advanced techniques. I don't know if it's literally just what I've seen. We've got one more here. But it, if I don't see them be... How can they be advanced techniques? I don't know. You can parry enemy attacks when your sword is drawn. 
Perfect parries do triple damage and grant longer immunity. The parry cooldown gets reduced slightly on a successful parry. Okay. You can also kind of use it as like a block in a way. So I'm guessing these enemies here, these little slimes, are supposed to be for me to... Oh, okay. It's quite easy. Yeah, you definitely do move faster. This music is... T I just... The music makes me laugh. Let's see if we can parry. Okay, I think we did a successful parry there. Yeah. Okay. That was quite an easy parry, considering. Whoa, whoa, okay. Almost. I think it does die with two hits anyway. There we go, we've got full health again. So the health, at least it gives you the health back quite generously. So that's good. Alright, there's more over here. Might as well take them all down. There we go. <laughs> so that's quite good. You can, like, you can, quite, you can do quite good uh, hits with that. This is interesting. Alrighty. So, so far it seems fine. I like the style. You know, the combat seems quite basic, but it's okay. So it's, it's serviceable. In all fairness, I, this is the reason why, you know, with Seattro's games, he doesn't really have combat in his games. And I can't blame him. Like... But obviously, this is going for an Ocarina of Time kind of style game, so I get it. Oh, that hurt me, I think. We got 62 gems at the moment, so it's interesting. So, we have three paths here, from what I can tell. There seems to be like a little indent down that way, but... I I th I'm pretty sure the indent is just that little bit. It's basically where that grate is down there with the uh, the river. So we've cleared, I think, all the enemies out of this area. Yeah. But we have three different paths we can take. Like, where do they go? So what's this one? That goes to the forest temple, which we do need to go to to get the first gem. But we also have a path that way and a path this way. So what's this one? To Kin Kizen Town. Well, let's go to the town first. Oh, just, oh, yeah, okay, so you can sprint as well by tapping the, um... Oh, yeah, okay, so, so you can sprint to get to places faster. That's cool. All right. So, yeah, let's go to Kizen Town. I don't know what's going to be here. It's like Kokori Village. I think it's Kokori Village. Bloxy. This is Kizen Town. Feel free to look around. On the hill up north, you can find the Elder Hut. All right, cool. So we can potentially get the the ability to... Can we go in? Okay, so we can go into houses. Cool. All right. Oh, my... This is so, so much inspired by Ocarina of Time. It's unreal. Like, I don't mind a little bit of inspiration, but this is a bit overkill with inspiration. Can we cut the plants? Oh, disappointing. Can't cut the plants. It's a staple. Right, let's talk to... Talk to the kid, Nen. I always look for money in the grass patches. I already found six Saphil. Isn't that great? Once again, another mechanic from... Um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I, don't think there's I think you've taken all the gems out of here, haven't you, little scamp? Alright, so this is what, a potion hut? Yeah, so what can we buy in here? Okay. Heart piece, two pieces of combined herd. So that's 100. 100. What's this? Life potion, which would lose a house and revive immediately. Okay. Free carry vitamins, you will restore free hearts. Okay. So we have a, like, a, a, a revive from death potion. And a heart container. We kind of want the heart container. 
We're almost there for the heart container, so we will buy the heart container once we get enough gems. Which we probably will be able to do from just exploring around the village. Um, I just gotta make sure to save often. Because it probably goes from the last save file. What are you doing? I wish we had a pier. That way I could catch the fish much easier. But I need some tools. I need two things. A hammer and a bundle of wood. Maybe you will find these items on your journey. Okay. So, potentially we can get fish if we give that to this dude. There's a cave here. What's in the cave? Ooh, not much, but there's some pots. Oh, we had a, found a red gem, which is obviously worth ten. So that's interesting. They kind of reversed it a little bit, because obviously the green gems are worth one, wasn't it? With blue were worth, what, five, and then red ten, or red five, and then blue ten? I don't know. Next to the village up north is the Keezen Mountain. The reptids have already claimed that area, so be careful when you go there. So that's some that's so that's the mountain. Okay. Alright. Fair. I heard stories of an ancient tomb that holds a powerful weapon in the desert. I'm giving everyone the same voice because I, I don't know. The fox people all sound like this. They all sound nasally. There are mo there are more and more reptids out there lately. They made the forest temple their base not too long ago. Be careful. So I guess we're supposed to come here first. Then go to the temple, then... Oh, we didn't go in that house there. Um, yeah, then go to the temple, then go to the mountain, maybe? By the way, this game is like five hours, according to how long to beat. So, you got a little fish tank. I love fish in the color red. Too bad I don't have a fish, red fish for my tank. I once saw a red fish in the lake outside the village, but it's too dangerous for me to try and search for it. Okay, so we can actually get... Um, so there's like little side quests here. That's cool. I like that. I like the little side quests. That's cool. Adds more to the game. Very nice. Let's go and have a walk through here. See if we can get some gems. Oh, yeah, there was one. Oh, we have enough for the heart container. Fantastic. I did just barely see it poking out in all fairness. So let's go buy the heart container. Which we then... Sh I don't know if that's going to be enough to... Don't know, but we're going to buy it. There we go. We now have an extra heart. Knowing how terrible I am at video games, it's needed. Right. Okay, from first glance, I don't think there's any gems in here. So, but we'll have a little little rummage. Don't think... Oh, there was one. Must have been quite well hidden, because I didn't see it from the outside. Alright. So it's a fairly decent sized village. Let's go and have a look in these huts. Cool, more pots. Yeah, I'll keep, give me all of that. I'll take that. I want to go on a journey and don't need my house anymore. Are you interested in buying a house? Well, okay, so I can buy a house. I wonder if I can furnish it. You need a lot of money for that, though. I can't find my son. I think he went to the mountain to play, but there are so many masters around there. Please, can you find him? I guess we get... Yeah, so there's little quests. That's cool. I wonder if there is a village in each of the air, uh, zones. Some dojo scrolls are very expensive. Standard Saphir bags can only hold 500 Saphir. I heard the, the Velfen in the Snowlands can craft bigger Saphir bags. So, okay, so the Snowlands can give us a bigger pouch. Yeah, that's understandable. Just like in... Just like in Ocarina of Time. I'm not going to just try and compare this game to Ocarina of Time all the time, but come on. You can see it draws a lot of inspiration, can't you? So, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's going to be one of those things. So this is the Elder. Talk to the Elder. Welcome, adventurer. I have a favor to ask of you. In the old temple to the east of one of the leaders of the Reptids is located. Please defeat him and make our town safe again. You'll be rewarded. Okay. Cool. That's fair. I think we've done everything we can do at this town. There's a few quests here. What is that? Five or four? So we have the lady who needs to be... So we have the bloke who needs a pair to do fishing. We have the lady who needs a red fish. We have... The bloke who wants to sell his house. 
and we have the lady who lost her son. That's what we have. Okay, so there's four quests here. Okay. Well, let's see how we get on. Get on! Let's go to the, uh, I'm guessing. Like, do, what do you think? Mountain first or temple? I'm kind of conflicted. Interesting. Looks like the slimes do not respawn. That's a good, it's a good thing. Oh, no. No, they do respawn. The well, slimes over here, they last time, weren't they? Or maybe not. Okay, so the slimes do respawn. Ah! Okay, yeah, you gotta be... The, the, the jump attack is quite powerful, but you still gotta be quite careful doing it. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go to the temple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nominate the temple. Actually, I know what. You know what? You know what? You know what? Here with me, I have five Thai baht. <laughs> because of course I do. Just here. It's, it's... All right. I'll even get another coin just to prove. Hear that? It's the sound of a coin. I'm going to flip the coin. Heads, we go to the temple. Tails, we go to the mountain. Oh, it, it spun around on the keyboard. <laughs> it's a tails, by the way. So we're going to the mountain. Okay, then. There we go. Want to decide something? That's how you decide it. Do it the cagey style. With the coin, coin toss. just can't get over the music. It's quite funny. Okay, so here's the mountain. It is definitely... It's more of a big hill than a mountain, but okay. Okay, we've got some slimes here, so that's a... Uh... Beautiful. Oh, there's the red fish that she wanted. Now, can we just... Like, let's jump in the water a minute. Let's see what we can do. Can we capture the fish? I wonder if we can just go up to the fish and capture it. Yes, we can! Okay, so there we go. We've got the red fish. I just, I just swum up to it and got a red fish. Fantastic. So, there we go. So, we now have a red fish. Okay, that was a bit funny, a bit interesting, but okay. Alright, fair enough. I'm just going to walk around the outskirts of this hill. I'm not going to call it a mountain, it is very clearly a hill. Let's see what's here. Okay. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. That, that jump attack is powerful, but you got to be real careful with it. Alright, so you can get up there that way. Oh, that seems to be some other kind of enemy in... Look at that. What is that? They don't like the look of this dude. Hey, boy! Well, that then. No I could just knock him back. So there is a little bit of strategy you can use with the combat here because you, just as they can do, they can knock you back. You can knock them back. That's interesting. Yeah, that's me. Just because I didn't lock on. It kind of does emphasize you kind of really do need to kind of lock on a bit. But we're doing well in terms of gems. At least we know that we can only carry 500, so that's good to know. It's useful information. Okay, so from what I can tell, we can take the bridge or we can walk up the mountain. I don't know what's better. Let's take the bridge to start off with. Oh, we have another one of these dudes. All right. Hey, bud.
Yeah, literally, you see what I'm doing? I'm using knockback as a way to kind of get around not having to actually fight him properly. Hey, if it works, it works. See, see I can see the red gem there. You see it? There it is. See it? Alright, so we can't actually get up to that bridge then. So we have to use the other way. Right. Oh, there was another, another gem. On the other hand, though, the blue gems are much harder to see in the grass. But we're doing okay. Alright, let's start making our way up. There we go. There's another one up here. But you have knockback, and that knockback you can use to basically keep the enemies away from you. So as long as you fight enemies one at a time, just don't let yourself get overwhelmed. You can kind of just get around it. This is what I mean when I said that the combat's a little bit... It's not quite there. It's okay, but it's just not quite there. Oh, okay, so... We have quite a lot going on up here. Interesting. Um, so they will only fight me. You're gone. He didn't even hit me once. I parried every single attack he did against me. And I like how they they were literally programmed that if you stood here, they couldn't attack you. That's fantastic. So if me stood here, can't come to me. Me stood here, they're coming. Me stood here, they ain't coming. <laughs> so I was able to... So I think that encounter was supposed to be a little bit more difficult because you got two slimes and a dude to fight at the same time. Where I just picked the slimes off quite easily. All right. That was a close one. Now I can go back home. I hope my mommy isn't too mad with me. Alright, cool. So, yeah, go home, kid. Um, Alright, we want to go down there now. But how is the question? Probably going to have to drop down. Whoa! Yeah, you'll forget she does an auto-jump, doesn't she, at a ledge. I don't know if there's full damage, but at the same time, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be. Cool, we got over here. I don't know if this was the intended way, but... Oh, he got me. That's fine. So he managed to take away our entire heart. I don't even know what's over here. The only way to get over here, as far as I can tell, is to do what I just did. Uh, don't really know. Don't see anything here. I'm guessing we're supposed to... Oh, go up here. Right, here we are. I'm now... Oh, there's a chest! Very good, very nice. Very good. we got a heart piece. Fantastic. I'm glad that there was an actual reason to come over here. There we go. Alright. I don't think there is full damage. Yeah, no, there is not. Definitely not full damage. We would have thought I would have taken some at least at some point during that, but no. So that's the mountain done. That was a very simple area. We got the red fish. We saved the boy. I would say, considering we're better off probably going back to the village now. Um, the reason I say this, let's go and see what the rewards are for returning the boy and giving the woman the red fish. Let's see, the fox woman. And then we'll go and do the forest temple. 
But yeah, the enemies are, or at least at this point in time, are a little bit of a joke. A little bit. I, I'll, I'll say that, but then they'll destroy me at some point. Hello, have your fish. Thank you so much. Please take this content of the chest. Ah, oh, she's happy with that she has a... That seems bigger than what I've got, but... Cool! Now we've got another heart piece. Now we've got five hearts. Fantastic. Just pump our health up. We'll be able to tank everything. All right, let's go see the see the woman about her son. Yeah, no, never were there before. You have my gratitude. My son came back safely and told me everything. You can have the chest in our house. Take it. This is the least I can do for you. Cool. Is your son in here? Yes, he is. Thank you for saving me, but now I can't play outside anymore. Yeah, well, that's your fault for getting captured, you dumb dumb. Shouldn't have got captured. Cool, another heart piece. So if pretty much if all the quests give me a heart piece. That's good. I, I like that. Get some decent health going. Alright then. Okay. Let's go and see what we can buy in here. Okay, so you can't buy another heart piece. That's fine. So what but I will do... There we go. I will buy... The life potion. So basically we've got an extra life just in case we do die. Which, me being terrible at video games, that is a possibility. So, let's uh, save. Oh, there, there we go. Oh my word, it even logs the quests. Look, the red fish and the woman. And it looks like we can actually get different outfits at some point. Which, yeah, from the screenshots I can see we should be able to. But they just seem to be palette swaps, I think. Well, maybe okay, maybe not from the screenshots. I don't know. Maybe not. So let's go and do the forest temple next. Let's go. I didn't check to see if the pots respawned, in all fairness, but it is what it is. Still can't get over this music. It is kind of funny. Right, so we have a big old, big old place here. Don't seem to be enemies outside. So I say. Okay. Interesting. Anything in there? Doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. I do see gems in the in the grass over there. The blue ones, they are sticking out. There is a ladder there. And there is a chest there. Okay. Interesting. So let's go and let's explore first. See what we got around it. I don't see enemies. I'd hate it if there was these little tiny enemies in the grass. I'd, I'd hate that so much. It would, that po at that point, it's a horror game, in my eyes. Alright, I can kind of see the gems here. So I'm surprised there's no one guarding... Like, I'm really surprised there's no one guarding the entrance. This seems a bit strange to me. Ooh, out of bounds, maybe? <laughs> I'm not going to try. I don't want to get stuck. Let's climb the ladder. Oh, so there's no, so there's no ledge grab mechanic, but then I don't think there's anything up here. So yeah, coming up here was literally just to get this chest. Which? Boom. Another, another, another heart piece. Fantastic. All right. Let's enter the temple. Let's see what we're dealing with. I guarantee there's going to be puzzles. All temples have bloody puzzles. I'm not a big fan of puzzles. All right. Okay. So only one door is open. That one's sealed. That one requires a key. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, there is enemies here. Don't know how many enemies there are. So four attacks and he died. 
Well, that was the same amount that if I attack normally, so... Apparently the parry is supposed to be better, but I don't see how it's supposed to be better. He's gone. So yeah, we can pick off these enemies. Alright, he's gone. He seems to be preoccupied up there. Give me all of those. What are you doing up there, boy? Guessing to progress, we need to beat all the enemies. But... Coming down. Nice try there, boy. Cool. So that's unlocked uh, here. Is there gems in here? Yep, yeah, of course there is. We'll be able to buy that house before we know it. Alright, so... That was just a clear enemies kind of press red button. We could have ignored the enemies, in all fairness. Oh. Okay. Oh shoot, he got me. Cool, got health back. What I don't like, one aspect, is he walked into that and didn't suffer any damage, which I didn't like that. Yeah, see, look, it just clips through. Shouldn't be like that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, one at a time, please. Cheers, bud. Yeah, I'll take that. I wonder if you could... Yeah, no, I think it's just high enough that you can't do anything. Alright. Not really an issue. Mm, okay, some more enemies in here. I wonder if you jump into the water. Did he just push me, or did I just, like, glitch off of him? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Alright, who come and say hi? One at a time, boys. One at a time. Right. The slime seems to be coming. It's fine. Come on, slime. One at a time, boys. Ooh. I'll forget. Very nice. Who come in, then? Very nice, very nice, come on. Very nice, very nice. Get wrecked? Are you coming down? You seem to be coming down here. Yeah, you... you what are you doing? He, what a weird walking cycle that, that boy got. Hey boy, what you doing over there, boy? Come on in, boy. <laughs> I like how I technically... I don't know. I know, there is a button up there. Oh, he, is he coming? Oh, yeah, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he coming! Thanks, mate. Nice try. Good meme, mate. Good meme. Good meme. Hello, matey boy. I got this parry down to a T, pretty much. I mess up every now and then. But for the most part, I have it down to a literal T. Let's go take this slime down. Slimes, don't even bother parrying. Just 
two attacks from a distance. Your sword does have enough reach. So... You don't really need to, to mess around with that. Let's see if there's any gems in here. But yeah, basically as long as you kite the enemy separately, it's not really an issue to be had. Well, oh, come on. You could have at least had a red gem in there. It's a bit of a waste of time jumping over there. Okay. This is... There's quite a lot going on here. It's a bit more confined, this area. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I bet you I can kite you if I just stand here. Come on. Walk in. Walk, walking cycle. Come on. He looking at me funny. He is definitely looking at me. So this is this one's a little bit harder. But then if I run up there, is anyone up there? I could just run up there. Couldn't I? Yeah, that works. Come on. Yep, yeah, that works. Alright, next. Next. Come on, bud. There we go. Let's go. Up here. Come on. Nice mean, nice mean boy, nice mean. Right, I don't know if there's anybody else. But I know there's two slimes. You're done. You're done. Don't. Okay, so there's no one hidden behind here. Oh yeah, give me all these red gems, I'll take them all. Right. I'm guessing obviously we're supposed to go up here. Dodge these. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Oh, there is a dude up here. Very good, very nice. Yep, come on. I'm not going to fight you on the stairs. Because then he's got the high ground. I can't have Anakin have the high ground. Nice try, buddy. Right. Just open the door. Give me, give me, give me. What do we get? Oh, I've got a dungeon map. Oh, I didn't even notice. Sorry, dude. The rooms aren't really complex enough for me to even need one. All right, I don't need to go this way. We can just... Whee! Nothing else in this room? Pretty sure there isn't. All right, on to the next room! Alrighty, then. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, no, we should be fine. We just kite one at a time. Come on. There we go. Good lad. Come on. One at a time, kite. So, so far, I've seen three ver three variants. Slime, Reptid, and uh, Spear Reptid. Here's the Spear Reptid. Hey, bud. Come on, buddy. Come on. Just don't want his friend to get in any ideas thinking he's gonna... From what I can tell, the spear ripped heads out. There we go. From what I can tell, the spear ripped heads take... It still set with one heart. It didn't take any more than that. I figured they would take two, but no. Um... They just take five hits instead of four. So the slimes take two hits, the reptids take uh, four, and the spear reptids take, yeah, take five. All right. Come on, bud. Yes. 
It's because I was talking, that's why. I got hit. What are you doing? What was that? You're doing a little Macarena around me? Alright, hopefully he, this dude drops a heart. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Oh, we got the bronze key, which I guess allows us to go through that door. Or, well, no, this door. I thought it was going to be the other door. It must be the silver key that we need for that. Alright. Off we go, I guess, again. I'm going to save. Okay. I wonder, can we actually go back? Oh, well, we can go back! Okay. So there's nothing stopping us. Oh, hello, boys. One at a time, please. There we go. Beautiful, yep. Come on. One at a time. Oh, cool. We got our health back. Come on, matey! Come on! Here he comes. Look at him. He's special, isn't he? Look at him. Special little boy! I will admit, though, I am not a massive fan of this combat, if I'm honest. And I'll tell you why. It's because I don't really even need to in engage in it. The parry is extremely easy to pull off. I, I, okay, you may go, oh my god, how are you doing the parry as much as you're doing if someone who's actually played through the entirety of this game? And I'm like, well, no, it's easy. I'm just finding the parry quite easy to, to do. Which it's kind of like defeats the point of the combat, really, in, at least in my eyes. There's going to be enemies here. Nope. Okay, I don't think we can go through that door. No, we don't have the right key. So I'm guessing we got to go this way. Ooh. I want him to start walking to... Oh, when we're in. Now. Yeah, I'm going to fuck up now. Yep. I'm, I'm overwhelmed, so... Okay, that was a bit a bit more difficult, but it just, for me, proves that the combat is not designed. It To me, it's just not designed for group battles, this combat. Come on. I'm not going to fight you with, the, in, 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 with that thing. Mm. Also, what is that about? Sometimes my character, like, thinks that the enemy is a platform and jumps. It's happened twice now. It's really weird. Okay, so we've got health back. It's not really an issue. All right. I guess it knows that that battle is going to be difficult for... Oh. Come in! God. The only reason that battle was difficult is because he was so close to the damn door. That's the only reason. Health back to normal again. 
If you, okay, so I guess we can say, like, okay, Bio, what do you think thus far of this game? What do you think? Right? What do you think of this game? Because, uh, you know. And if I'm honest with you, I would say, I, I just, I'm really kind of on the fence with this game, really. Right, we're back at the intro now. Can't go that way. So we're back at the beginning. We now have the silver key. So... Thank God the enemies don't respawn. Do we have to run through this again? Seems a bit counterintuitive, but okay. So it shows, like, that you can go into that room from here, but obviously you can't. It's really weird. I don't know. I, no, it's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was a silver key thing here, wasn't there? That's what it was. I don't think you're intended to go all the way back around. Backtrack a bit. Yeah, there we go. So we can go in there now. Hey, bud. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. You do notice, like, like I was doing perfect guards and now I'm fucking up. Do you know why I'm fucking up? Because I'm getting bored. That's the reason. I'm not trying to be harsh, but that is honestly the reason. I'm getting bored. I'm preemptively doing it when I shouldn't be preemptively doing it. All because I'm just getting bored. Enemy? Nope. Oh. That dude's coming down to say hi. All right. This dude's coming down. He seems... Oh, he's done. Look at that. Doesn't even drop anything good. Hey, buddy! Buddy! Friend! Guy! Also, don't you find the reptilians kind of look like... they got, like, pug faces? It's really weird. What the... F See what I mean? That's the third time that's happened. That is just bad. And you could say, oh, but it's the enemy pushing you back. No, it's not. They're not doing anything like that. She's just clipping on him. And then, for some reason, briefly thinks that he's a platform. And then that's, she doesn't... Or it, oh, it's only because of the auto-jump. Can I turn the auto-jump off? Oh, auto-save is off. No, I want that on. Auto-save on. Yes, auto-save on. It's all because of the auto-jump. That's the reason why. If there was no auto-jump, we wouldn't have that issue. Weird, isn't it? Alright, and there's the gold key. So we can now go, I guess, to the boss area. I guess we've got a boss to fight. Cool, there's full elf. Yeah, see, it's the auto jump. That's what causes the issue, to be completely honest. Heart piece, cool. Oh, we're back here. So we want to go back in here. Because there's the uh, 
boss time, I'm guessing. So let's save. Oh yeah, well that's 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 definitely a boss if I've ever seen one. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh god. Not a big fan of the dodge. No, stop dodging like that. Beat him. Okay. Literally, that entire boss battle was just me, f just parrying. That's like, do you see what I mean with the op? I can't be the only one who sees the issue with the combat. I can't be the only one. Come on. Do you not see the issue with the combat? Cool, we got the green we got the green gem. There it is. But do you not see the issue? Like there's no reason to engage in normal combat unless you're dealing with incredibly weak enemies. You might as well just parry everything. And yeah, even if you do lose some hearts, generally speaking, you get them back by defeating enemies. I'm not trying to fault the combat. I'm just saying that the parry Basically makes the combat null and void. It doesn't... It make Yeah. So. But I'm going to give my two cents. Once we... Uh, once we go see the village elder. Because I think... Uh, I think it's, it's wise for me to give my two cents. In that scenario. Definitely is, uh, definitely is interesting. All right. You have defeated the golem and have our internal gratitude. Please take this chest. With that pass, you can visit the dojo that normally trains Kizen only. But you have proven yourself worthy. Okay. So we have the dojo pass now. So that's what he's given us. Fair enough. We almost have enough to buy a house. 450, wasn't it? So... Do we just... You know, it doesn't really matter. Okay. As we just stand here, kind of non nonchalantly, let's look at the camera so we have a nice little view. All right, I'm going to give you my two cents of this game because I'm not going to play any more of this. Um, I've decided we've done the first area out of four, and I, I I've decided that I'm I'm not going to play any more of this, and I'll give you the reasons why. So let's go over the entire game again. This is always going to be a first impressions. Very rarely am I going to do a full playthrough. It's going to be a very rare experience. Um, I don't regret purchasing this game. It was very cheap at the end of the day. I got it on sale. You know, normally it's... Uh, I, I don't know how much it is normally because I can't see on the thing. But it doesn't matter. It's, you know... it It's under a fiver, if I remember correctly. So it's quite cheap. And I think I got it on sale for like 80 pence. So under a buck. I'm pretty sure I got it on sale like 80% off or something. So... It's definitely worth. It's definitely worth get, getting it on sale, one hundred percent. Even that, even though I personally think Fiverr, that's reasonable in itself. Graphically, I do like it, but I do see that it takes a hell of a lot from Ocarina of Time. So, hell of a lot. 
Uh, movement's fine, if I'm honest with you. The combat is a little bit clunky, and it becomes a little bit irrelevant considering that you can just parry everything. If you get really good with the parry, just you can just parry. Look at me with that boss. He hit me, what, once? And then I got hit by an, uh, one of the environmental objects on the second hit. So, you know, I just par I parried, jumped back. The dodge is not particularly great. Mainly because it should be, to me, again, being as a man from Dark Souls, a dodge roll would have been really good in this game. If you implemented a dodge roll that rolls you in a direction that you're uh, aiming, would have been really good. But instead, you basically, you dodge in the direction your stick's facing. So let's say you're trying to move back and to the right, away from the golem, right? You parry the golem, you then start moving back and right. You press the B button, but you actually just want to dodge straight back. You end up dodging to the right. into the. That's what happened, and that's what I, why I got hit by that environmental um, spike thing. Which just kind of was annoying, because I was like, well, yeah, that, you shouldn't really do that. It's not how the control should be, but that's just my stance. You know, you could think otherwise, but that's just my stance. It should be like, really, you should have like a dodge roll instead. I'm not trying to say make this game Dark Souls-like. I'm not just saying that. I'm just saying, fundamentally, to make the game better, and to have the dodge serve more of a purpose, have a dodge roll. Because if I'm honest with you, it, I, I've, I'm more inclined to ignore the dodge and just move backwards. Parry, move backwards. Parry, move backwards. Parry, move backwards. Which then basically makes the do dodge null and void. If I'm, if that's the way I'm playing the game, it, th does the dodge serve a purpose at that point? It doesn't for me, does it? Just like the combat. The combat at least for me, doesn't really serve a purpose unless you're fighting, like, really weak enemies, like slimes. You might as well just parry everything. And the whole entire... The parry does more damage. Bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. I attacked one of those reptids, the ones that were fighting with their fists, normally. Which apparently... And I was just hitting him one, 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 one. So... The weakest attack by the game's logic, because the, the the longer your combo goes, the more powerful your attacks are, according to the game. I used the one tap, no combo, one tap against the Reptid with fists, that attacked with his fists, took four attacks to for him to fall down. Why does it, why does it also take four attacks, four parries, mind you, not attacks, four parries, to take the enemy down when the parry is supposed to be triple the fucking damage if you do a perfect parry. And if I am not losing any health to a perfect parry, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to a parry, that's a perfect parry as far as I'm concerned. Because you've got inv invincibility frames. So how is it that the parry does the same damage as a normal weak attack? Seems a bit inconsistent and it seems like the dojo is lying to me. But then again, I might be wrong. Maybe there's more. It's more complex than I thought, but I just I don't think it is. The quests are nice, you know. The quests are nice to have and that, but yeah, if I'm honest with you, it's you know, there is going to be a certain kind of market for this game, but for me, it's just not there. It hasn't got that same kind of magic. Definitely with the music, the music definitely feels like it's like royalty-free stock music. It doesn't have. It's not bringing the world to life. The music. In my opinion, I'm very music orientated. I don't play instruments, but I listen to so many different genres of music. I'm not just defined by one genre. The music adds so much to the atmosphere and experience of a game. So if you don't have, if the music literally takes you out of the game, which in this case it does, because it doesn't fit in my opinion, it does. It, it takes away the experience. It takes away from the experience. It doesn't engross me as much. So, there's aspects of this game I like, but also aspects of this game I am kind of disappointed with. But if this is your first game, Malte Gallade, fair enough. I don't hold it against you. That's fair enough. You did a really good job of a first game. Just, you know, there is little bits here and there that could be improved to make the game better. At, as it stands of me recording this video, 
the reviews it only has 64 reviews total with a mostly positive review score so obviously a lot of people had similar um, kind of complaints that I I'm guessing had with the game um, and the recent reviews which was 11 is mixed which is not great is it we have a mixed reviews recent being the recent reviews but there's definitely room for improvement um, if the developer ever watches this I doubt he would ever watch this I would suggest the changes I suggested that's what I would go with but again just have the combat mean more or have the parry be more difficult or something or have the com have there be more of a combo system like if there was like quite a few different combos you could do and if you and it encouraged you to mix the combos up and whatnot to, to get massive damage you know I think it would it, it'd give me more reason to use the normal combat versus the parry the parry is more of a like you've got one heart left to get you out of a bad scenario but anyway I'm gonna call it there um, I hope you've enjoyed the video like I said I'm not gonna continue playing through the game don't know how long this video is not a clue OBS obviously has a timer of how long the recording's going Shadowplay does not. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've been Bio. Thanks for watching. I hope you don't take any of my complaints against the game to heart. It's just my constructive criticism from playing for the short period that I have played. And from that short period, again, you have to understand, people are always... You know, I am a objective person. I'm not overly, overtly positive. Because that's just not how I am. That's not my personality. So... You, you know that's just how that's just how I am I am going to be critical and I, but I also try to be as fair as possible whereas in the past I wasn't but now I try to be as fair as possible for the you know especially considering the price point and the experience you're getting and so on and so forth and I also try to give like positive like reinforcement like well, if you did this and change this and so on and so forth anyway enough ranting on see you later goodbye